Hey everybody, JC the Sniper back again with another blade review. And this time I'm bringing you the Kershaw Scamp. Don't remember the model number. Um, let's see, 2710 I guess. Kershaw 2710, the Scamp. Um, and this is a pretty decent blade. Um, I actually like it pretty well. It's funny how this came into my collection though. Um, I actually intended it to go to a friend um, and I bought it because I like to give my female friends from time to time uh, ones that I know don't have a blade you know if you've seen any of my videos you've probably seen my videos on why I think everyone should carry a knife um, knives are an excellent defensive tool if you can't carry a gun uh, you should have a knife and even if you can carry a gun you should have a knife but you know, younger people, people who aren't aren't legally allowed to carry a gun. There's places where you can't carry a gun. Um, knives are the next equalizer, in my opinion. Now, you know, of course, a baton is a good thing. Some of those kind of things, but knives are just easy to conceal. They can deal out some serious damage, and they're not too hard to use. You pretty much just hit somebody with them. So, anyway, knives are one of those things that I think everyone should carry and they're good for you know just cutting stuff if you need to cut something EDC whatever tasks you may have that you need to do um, so I recommend everyone carry a knife because of that uh, when I have female friends from time to time who I know don't have a knife um, I try to hook them up so I try to get them get them a knife try to get them to carry it a little bit uh, and usually I start them off with just a small one um, for instance, when uh, I met my wife and she wasn't carrying a knife, um, I tried to get her to carry one. And at first, uh, she was a little bit resistant to it. You know, she didn't want to really. I uh, eventually got her to carry one. So she started carrying a Kershaw that I had. I don't even remember which one it was, but it wasn't. It wasn't really. It wasn't any kind of tactical knife. It was just a little Kershaw. Um, and then she was having a little trouble opening it, so I moved her up to an Oso oh Sweet. So this is the Oso oh Sweet that I gave her originally. Um, and not the best tactical knife, but it pops open real quick, um, just snaps right out. And for a woman, you know, it's a nice size. You know, she's a little smaller. It was a good size for her. Worked well. She carried it for a while. And then when we finally reached a place where she was ready to upgrade I moved her up to a Spyderco Delica with the wave feature on it so now you know we moved up in increments from just a, you know a little Kershaw knife to a little bit bigger one to now she's carrying a Spyderco Delica that's the perfect size for her that she can pop out quickly and she could do some damage with it if she needed to um, but anyway I purchased this one intending to give it to a female friend and I got it home and I was, for me this is like oh it's a medium sized knife it'll be nice I got it home and I was like uh, oh my gosh this thing's huge it's like it's monstrous because um, I just looked at it in the case and bought it I actually didn't even handle it or anything I was like oh Kershaw it's good it'll probably be fine bought it got it home and then I was like no and I had another oh so sweet still in the box unused and I was like oh I'll give her that one instead so, anyway, thus the Kershaw Scamp came into my collection. Um, now, this is a decent knife. Uh, pops open quickly, has good speed. Um, it's got the ACR 13 MOV steel, um, which is basically analogous to OS 8. Maybe not quite as nice as OS 8, but it's a decent, um, you know, medium quality knife steel. Uh, a, you know a decent quality steel Kershaw puts it in a lot of their knives and it, it works fine so good steel um, you know it's it's a three and a half inch blade so pretty decent sized blade and uh, you get a G10 handle scale you only get one because it's a it's a frame lock so the other side is the frame um, but you do get a, a decent you know you get a G10 handle scale that's pretty nice it's got a little bit of traction um, I would put this knife in the realm of EDC and I'm honestly you know it's an okay knife but it's just not the best um, if it were made a little bit better 
if it were if it had a few features I would say that it could qualify for a emergency tactical use knife because um, it has some things that would be great for that but it just doesn't quite make it to that to that level and we'll talk about why um, so it comes out fast which is really nice you know it pops out good I like it, it comes out fast and locks up tight the lockup is a hundred percent tight and nice good lockup uh, no worries on that you get because it's a frame lock there's a large engagement surface there and it, it locks up nice so that's good now the handle is where we begin to travel into territory where I would not call this a tactical blade um, yes it does have G10 however the G10 is not very tractionable um, it is not like the G10 of a Spyderco military that just locks in tight it's fairly slick um, so not the best and you only get G10 on one side so the other side is completely slick because it's just straight up stainless and it's slippery particularly if it's wet, sweaty um, you know it, it, it's slick so not a big fan of that um, additionally there's no jimping and there's no kind of swell on the back to put your finger on so there's nothing to stop your hand from sliding up the back of it now on the front we get this little choil however it's not very deep it's pretty slick so if you were to have to stab somebody with this it would not be good more than likely you're going to cut yourself I mean, you could do it I wouldn't recommend it um, more than likely if I had to use this I would want to go into a reverse grip because I can get my thumb around the back of it so that you know I'm not going to slide up or just slash cuts so that I don't slide up on it but you know whatever your mileage may vary now um, along with that I will say the handle the handle feels pretty decent now you know it's fairly thin um, but the handles comfortable everything's nicely rounded um, you can see here they, they rounded that very nicely it's just really nicely rounded and melted um, everything's very slick very well molded so that in your hand there's no obnoxious biting edges it's just it feels very comfortable in the hand um, it sits in my hand very nicely so that's pretty good now the blade shape is pretty great for EDC um, it's a nice you know spear point blade I like that kinda got a little false wedge there on the back I think it looks attractive I think it's pretty neat looking um, hollow ground as you can probably tell from the way the lights hitting there and uh, you get a really pretty nice amount of belly there but you still get a pretty sharp tip so you know nice tip I like it overall the blade shape I think is very nice especially for EDC very well suited to EDC tasks um, now this blade shape could also be pretty good for um, defensive purposes so this is one of the things where I say if they built this a little better it could be a great defensive knife um, I think that blade shape is very nice for for both cutting attacks and for stabbing um, so I think that would be a very nice blade shape for for a defensive knife um, however because the hits on the handle just not going to work that way now this is the other cool thing that pommel is perfectly designed as a striking tool you know you got stainless steel coming together there and, it, and it's pointed I mean it's just perfect and then you, the way this is rounded you can wrap your hand right around that sticks right out the back of your palm that's like the perfect striking tool I don't know that I've ever seen another um, folding knife well I take that back my Blackhawk be warned it has a pretty nice pretty nice striking uh, pommel as well however I think this one honestly is a little bit better um, a little bit pointier concentrate the force a little bit more and a little bit heavier in the metal materials down there so very very well designed for striking uh, if the handle were just had a little bit more um, texture to it maybe scooped out a little bit more here so you get a little bit more grip um, some jimping on the back it could be an excellent excellent defensive knife um, however at this point it's just not because it's just too slick 
But if you have this and you needed to make a non-lethal strike, this would be an excellent non-lethal striking device. You could you could pop somebody good with that, and uh, I think that would be perfect for that. It is a screwed construction, so you can take it apart if you need to. You can adjust it if you need to, so excellent on that. Um, the clip is flippable from top to bottom, but not left and right. So if you're a lefty, you're screwed. But righties, we get to pick tip, or tip up, tip down. It comes oriented for tip down. I just haven't changed it because I haven't really carried it that much. Um, if I were to get to carry it a lot, it would be moving. So, um, And they give you a lanyard hole. So pretty nice. I would flip that and put a lanyard on it probably. Just kind of kind of cool. Um, now the one thing I don't like is because this is all shiny because the liner uh, or frame side is out so all shiny stuff. I don't really like shiny stuff on my pockets. I like it to be dark um, but that's just personal preference not because I don't I don't want people to see that I have a knife. Everybody knows that I have a knife um, <laughs> when I walk around that you know people who know me know and people who see me probably well, because I open carry, first of all, they're going to see my gun, and then they're probably going to notice that I have knives clipped in my pockets, and I don't give a crap. Um, but I just don't like shiny stuff. I like the darker things. I think it looks a little more, a little cooler, a little bit more low profile, just because I don't like flashy crap. Um, that's my opinion. Your mileage may vary. Whatever. Anyway, overall, a very good EDC knife, uh, and price is pretty good on these. You can get this at a decent price. Um, I'm not going to say what you're going to pick one up for, because um, prices on knives vary all the time, especially on low, uh, you know, low price Kershaws like this. But I'd say you could pick one of these up for under forty dollars, probably pretty easily on the internet. Um, and I think I paid forty for it, so something like that. I don't even remember. Not a lot. Uh, you know, pretty reasonably priced, especially for all the cutting power you get, and it's just a high quality knife. Um, very, very nice, very well made. Um, not a tactical blade, but for EDC, it would be a great option. That's about it. JC the Sniper, signing off.